I bought this home in 2004. This was actually uh, touted as a retirement community, which made me very happy. I saw the lovely golf course, uh, went through the activity center, and was so impressed with that uh, facility, and uh, so decided that this was where I wanted to be. When I signed the contracts and looked at the home with the realtor, I, I, they never mentioned that there would be a possibility of any uh, gas wells being drilled here. When Sherry Brandon moved to Battlement Mesa, she found a peaceful community on Colorado's western slope. Between the golf course and sweeping mountain vistas, it seemed like the perfect place to retire. But the region is also a hub of natural gas drilling, and two years after Brandon arrived, a gas boom brought wells closer to the town. There was more truck traffic, more dirt and on the roads, and more uh, pollutants in the air. But they weren't in our backyard, so it was, there were the kind of things that you could live with. Devaney isn't sure he can live with it anymore. Last summer, even as the recession pushed energy companies to scale back, Antero Resources announced plans to drill up to 200 gas wells right inside Battlement Mesa. Two of the well pads are planned for the golf course, and some will be drilled within 600 feet of homes. I don't want to be here when it happens. Yeah, I think the integrity of our community is going to change incredibly. But without the oil and gas industry, Battlement Mesa might never have existed. In 1981, long before the retirees arrived, Exxon built the community to house oil show workers. When the oil show economy collapsed in 82, Exxon sold the land to a developer called Battlement Mesa Company, but kept the mineral rights to the gas underground. The town soon became known as a retirement community. Then, in 2007, Antero leased the mineral rights from Exxon. Today, with investment in natural gas growing again, new and old are struggling to coexist. Most residents in Belmont Mesa understand that uh, natural gas development in this area is a reality. However, when they start moving into your, you know, where you live, work, and play, that's a, a different story. After Antero's announcement, Devaney helped organize Battlement Concerned Citizens, a community group that opposes the drilling. One of the things we need to come up with is a catchphrase for helping publicize the meeting. Drilling in your community? Question mark? Don't drill, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Many people feel that uh, uh, property values are going to be impacted. The other impacts are basically living in an industrial zone. Pollution is another concern. Battlement Concerned Citizens petitioned the county to study how gas development could impact public health. When the results come out in September, they could change how Antero will drill. Meanwhile, the company plans to camouflage some of the most visible wells. The mitigation measures that we and Antero worked out together on the golf course pads are, are amazing to the point where one of the pads will be excavated some 40 or 50 feet below the playing surface and then shielded with approximately a million plus dollars of hardscape, lots of trees, with the mitigation levels between the sound and the odor and the light visibility of, of shrouding the tower and directing light. If it has to happen, uh, I, I think it's happening under the absolute best conditions possible. So they've made recent modifications to their plan, which reduce the impact, but they don't eliminate the impact. It's enough for some residents who hope that drilling will bring in more business. It supports the community. We need the fuel. I personally think Battle Mesa has done quite a bit to make them work for the people. And I will tell you something else. All these people that are ticked about it wouldn't probably care if they were getting a royalty check from it. <laughs> my parents get royalty checks. They could drill one in my mom's bathroom and they wouldn't care. You know, <laughs> that's the truth. But with Antero set to begin drilling next year, others must decide whether to leave the community they know or accept a future among the gas wells. I think what I'll do in the fall is I'll rent my home. I'm willing to do that just so I could uh, get out. I haven't seriously considered leaving Belmont Mesa. I can still enjoy you know, a relatively good quality of life. I uh, enjoy the environment. I, I moved here to go biking and hiking and snowshoeing, and now I'm struggling to try and uh, do what I can to protect my little piece of it.